Hello there. I uh, did this little talk for speed dating today at Covenant Presbyterian Church. We're available to come to speak at your church, but I thought I'd share uh, what we did today. Um, so here we go. I founded Street Youth Ministry uh, 11 years ago, and we work with homeless young adults. Now, you may not even know that there are homeless young adults, so I want to help you paint a picture of who we serve and what we do. Um, first, um, I want you to realize, uh, to remember back to junior high or senior high when people, um, maybe for reasons you're not sure, were asked to go to the guidance counseling office. Uh, as an example, perhaps a young woman who shares with the teacher that she has become pregnant get asked to go to the guidance counseling office. And that counselor doesn't shame her, but instead helps her understand what her options are, what resources there are in the community, and make sure that she's getting assistance. That's what we do. Um, as another example, perhaps a young man comes back to school and has been in jail and now has legal problems, and perhaps they send him to the guidance counseling office because there he can meet up with somebody who understands what his options are and can help him face this problem head on rather than drop out of school and not thrive. That's examples of what we do, except that the people we're doing it with are college age and living homelessly instead of in school. So that's kind of who we work with. We work with about 30 people a day, 80 individuals every week, and five or 600 in a year. Okay, so that's what we do. That's who we serve. What do we do with them? So let's imagine being such a homeless young adult. You find us by word of mouth and you walk down the stairs into our basement. You see what's in this picture. Um, you see clothes hanging up and this that you can take, and this allows you to be warm. It allows you to be clean. It allows you to change your look and try on different identities, um, whether you want to be sloppy or dressed up or in between. Um, you find in the corner some art supplies. Many of our clients are artists. You find hanging on the wall some instruments that you can play, uh, and you find out available to you a buffet of food and drink um, that comes mostly from recovered food sources and donated food sources pulled together by our volunteers and staff. And so you feel at home. Perhaps you plop down on our comfy couches and we have staff members who are trained to begin to engage. They will approach you, find out your name, find out what's going on in your life. And we start to build a relationship. And as that relationship grows, we offer guidance counseling through it. Um, and so, uh, that's kind of what we do. And what we know is if you engage with us, that you are, um, let's switch over to this web page. This is a live statistics from our webpage. Actually, uh, we've seen 58 unique individuals in the last two weeks and 84% of them have engaged with us, meaning they've had. They've hung out with us a certain amount of time and they've had at least 10 deep conversations with us. And of the engaged clients, 73% are making life changes. That means they're doing things like getting an ID or getting a job or finding housing or being sober longer than they want to be, um, finding a church home, going to a Bible study, believing in God, etc. And of the people who have not engaged with us, 33% of them are showing life changes. So that means if you engage with us, you're two to three times more likely to be making life changes. So that's kind of what we do and how it works. And so how can you be involved? Well, go to our webpage, simon.org, and join our Simon family if this is interesting. Put in your email, hit next. Next, it will have, give you a few initial things that you might be interested in doing. And I encourage you to check this first box. That's joining our prayer team. What we're going to do is send you a prayer request or prayer celebration about one client and one goal about every three weeks. So these things that we notice that they're wanting to do or that they have done, we turn them into prayer requests and we send them out. And quite frankly, we do not have enough prayer warriors. We have a thousand, but we actually have more prayer requests than we have warriors. So some of them don't get distributed. So please join. Um, if you're interested in volunteering, you can say, that yes no or maybe if you say maybe it's going to ask you maybe some availability information it's going to also offer you some other things that might interest you such as 
um, shopping for things we don't get donated, or maybe helping us find recycled things that are no longer wanted that can be donated. Um, then it's going to uh, ask if you might be involved in a group. Uh, we can work with groups as well as individuals. Um, and we're going to ask your name because we want to be in relationship with you as well. We're going to ask permission uh, for you to, sh uh, to send you a text every other Sunday. You can say no. And if you say yes, it's going to ask you that phone number and we'll send you a photo and a, a quick link to learn more about every two weeks. So um, that's what I shared today. And I hope you'll go to our website and um, join our, our ministry family. Um, we will not spam you. We won't harass you. We just want to involve you. Thanks very much. Bye.